Hey everybody, Chris McGraw from Almost Adventurous here. Uh, this is gonna be a really short review today um, because I'm not doing a jacket, I'm not doing a pair of pants, not even doing a pair of boots or anything like that. I am going to be reviewing this, which is the uh, Patagonia Air Dini uh, cap. So this is a running cap, uh, quite similar to a, a few of the another other short bill running caps that they make. Um, quick story time: a few years ago, uh, I decided that I didn't like having all this hair, and so I shaved my head completely, completely bald, um, and with skin as pale as mine, that meant um, needing some head protection. I actually wore um, my other Patagonia running hat, which I will do a review on here in a little bit as well, and it's mesh in the back and I was out for like an hour long run in the Colorado sun and I came back and man, my head kind of looked like a golf ball uh, with all the sunburn coming through the mesh. So I thought to myself, I need to get better sun protection for these runs, um, but I wanted something that was lightweight that could fold up and fit in my pocket, uh, or so I thought, uh, and so that's what I went with. I went with the, um, the Aerodini, let's see if I can get my, Head out of the way, we can get a quick little, uh, there we go. So there it is. Um, uh, everything about this hat is great. Um, it's ultra lightweight, it's very breathable. It folds up into this little back pocket back here and then you have a little loop you can hang it on. Um, I can just throw it in my backpack or my running vest and go. Um, the reason that I am going to be getting rid of it is that uh, while I needed uh, full protection from the sun, I don't need it anymore. Uh, I got a lot of hair back. Um, just have been letting it grow out these last seven months uh, since becoming a dad just because, uh, I don't know, going and getting my hair cut isn't, <laughs> isn't a priority lately. Um, plus, uh, as pale as I am, I just needed a little bit more protection than this tiny little bill could uh, could give me. So I decided, you know, I have so, so, so many hats. Um, I recently got a, a different a different one that I have really enjoyed running in. And I've decided to stick with that one. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Actually have already sold it. But I do love that it's got like the Houdini fabric, this green fabric, and then it's super breathable on the sides. So let me... Throw it on, so if, if I didn't want the, uh, the bill in front, I could just throw it on. That's what it looks like. Uh, with the bill in the back, obviously you're not gonna be getting any sun protection that way. And then uh, here's what it looks like from the front. So yeah, you can see this bill is not very big. And that's, I mean, that's kind of the point of this and one of the other duck bill hats that they sell for running is that you can just scrunch it up in a pocket and having a big bill does get in the way of doing that. Uh, size wise, so these and the uh, smaller duckbill um, hats come in either a small, medium, or a large. Um, my normal hat size, like a wool hat, like this bad boy, I'm a seven and a quarter. This is a small seven and a quarter, but that's my normal, normal hat size. And a large fits me perfectly, as far as that goes. Um, I have tried on small and medium sized ones accidentally and man were they tight so there's no chance um, even when I didn't have hair getting in the way a large is the way to go uh, for this one so um, what kind of person is this for if you're gonna be throwing I can wear this underneath a bike helmet which was really nice because same deal I was out mountain biking Sun was coming through the slits in my helmet and that was causing an issue so I wore this I tended to wear that one backwards just so the bill didn't get in the way too much um, if you're running and want something nice and breathable but ha offers more Sun protection than say like something with a mesh backing I would say this is a good way to go as well and uh, I picked this up for, I mean, it wasn't super cheap. This is from fall of 2018. Um, I think I probably paid around 20 for it. I sold it for 25. Uh, and you just don't see a ton of them pop up, which is probably why the prices remain somewhat uh, the same. But yeah, for running and biking in the summer, even when it was hot out, the dark color didn't bother me at all. Um, 
So, I mean, if you're gonna be using it for those reasons, I'd say I recommend it. Uh, for me, it just wasn't the right fit um, because the bill was just too small and I need a little bit more sun protection. And now that I have hair again, I can deal with the mesh and the mesh is nice and breathable. Um, but yeah, overall, Patagonia Men's Air Dini Cap. Uh, if that's what you're looking for out of a hat, I'd say go for it. And I have a feeling that this will last you a really, really long time.